Right, hey guys and welcome back. Uh, we are back in the Alabaster Islands. Uh, we are just sort of picking up from where we left off. So, um, in the process of building our team, uh, now that we have the Lilligant, we don't really need uh, Electivire. And I think that kind of uh, puts into perspective how we're gonna go about this from here on. Uh, we really need to consider the purpose of a specific Pokemon in the team. Uh, and I really don't see how uh, we need to keep the neutral stat Electivire anymore just because it doesn't give us the uh, What do you call this like any real benefits to be to be honest, uh, you know what we can pick all of these up Let's take all of these. Uh, let's actually take uh, All of the full heals we can even take and we don't need the max revives yet I don't think we've reached that point in the game. Let's pick up some of these other items That have been uh, useful for us the bug wards are not really uh, that special we do have a whole bunch uh, let's just pick them up. Uh, let's pick up the Dazzling Honey, sure. Um, oh, you know what, let's keep some items as well, just because uh, you'll never know when the game suddenly asks you to craft for something. I think that's my only real concern. Uh, let's see. So the bug wards are good because they create this thing, uh, which is the stealth spray, but I do need Hopo Berries for the Jubilife Muffin. Um, and I don't need so many stealth sprays. You know what? We'll create two stealth sprays and then we'll stash the rest of the bug wards uh, inside. Uh, so we don't really need bug wards anymore. We have a bunch of them. But we do need to get the berries uh, so that we can continue crafting like the useful items. Right. We haven't really used any of these um, hippie balls. Mm. I wonder if like sticky glob and Liden ball would be like the ultimate end game. Because if it is, it's pretty shitty. Uh, but you'll never know, right? You'll never know how it's designed. Right. So let's see if we can switch out this electivire for something else. Uh, a bit more suitable. Perhaps. Um, Sligu, Clownia, or Psyduck. These are all the alphas that I can release. I'm only keeping them because I don't know if um, they'll be needed uh, for any reason. It's basically the reason I'm keeping them. Switch out this unknown. This is my Infernape. Let's not uh, forget that. This is the Sylveon that we caught. This is our. Um, Sylveon, it's the one that we caught. Uh, we can definitely release this. Um, yeah, let's do that. This is the Gyarados that we caught. It's not a very good nature, uh, but we'll keep it for now. What else do we have? Any other dupes? Anything else? It's a nose pass. It's huge. It takes like most of the circle like on the, to show its face. Takes a huge amount of space. Uh, let's check the Riolu's uh, stats here. It's a lax nature Riolu, which is pretty bad, I suppose. Uh, lax is like up defense, lower special defense. Now that's bad. Um, it's not the worst nature, but it's pretty bad. Let's see Snowren and Obama Snow. Let's see what these two are. Sassy and Impish. Ooh. But anyway, those Pokemons are just not good. Like, really not good. Like, you have to be really. Um, like not only you need perfect nature, you need to be really careful with the way you use them, just because of the number of weaknesses grass and ice has. It's, it's monstrous. This is actually a Star Raptor, just a pretty decent Pokemon. It's a mild nature one, but it's a pretty decent Pokemon. Uh, so what's this one? Bergmite. Does this become Avalug? Is this the one they keep talking about? Hmm. But anyway, um, we do have a decent ice Pokemon. We don't need to be messing around with these other options. So now we have uh, this Pokemon that's weak to... Actually, Deligan is fine. His weaknesses are not uh, are totally negligible. Uh, it has ice though. Ice, ice. And Ursula is weak to ice. So we have a triple ice weakness on the team. Which is why Sylveon would still be a better choice. Because Sylveon doesn't have those... Uh, that any of those ice weaknesses that Togepi, that Togekiss will have. Um, 
So for that reason alone, um, Sylveon would still be the better Pokemon. Yeah. You know what? We'll switch it out for now. Uh, we'll consider bringing back the Togetic and Togekiss when we need to. But for now, Sylveon just eliminates the need for another. You know, I mean, to worry about the Ice weakness. As for the uh, ground type weakness, we have uh, Gudra, Electivire, and well, just these two basically, because now we don't have the Infernape, so we don't have to worry about the ground weakness as much. But for the fighting type weakness, we have one Pokemon, two, three weak to fighting, and uh, that's our next biggest challenge. Um, and Electivire definitely needs something like an Ice Punch, uh, sorry, a Fire Punch. I guess, because it doesn't do anything against Steel Pokemon, like it's Bulldoze is... Bulldoze is okay though, right? It's not the worst move. Um, but Electrovire is just not the best Pokemon out there. It really needs some help. Scizor on the other hand is actually not bad. Scizor might actually do some, some work for us. With its fighting ability, its bug ability. You know what, I actually consider taking this Scizor over the uh, Electivire. I really think this uh, Scizor will help us just a bit more. Although the Electivire is a great and cool Pokemon. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think that's probably our best bet. Uh, let's move this guy to this empty slot. Let's move the Psyduck. Uh, is there another Psyduck somewhere? I'll drop you here. Right, and let's move along. Uh, we're gonna head off to our main quest. I think that's essentially the thing we wanna do now. Uh, let's check if we can uh, just stash this away for now. Uh, sure. We'll just sort those out. Sort this out. Right, great. So now we actually gotta go and catch that um that uh what do you call that? That that bird or whatever. Um So let's see. So how far are we? Slumbering Lord of the Tundra. Is that where we gotta go? Okay. So there's a lot of salt here, although we haven't really seen a use for this much salt. Uh oh, but it's a good thing we came up here, huh? Managed to get this. There we go. Uh, okay, I'll just go up here with Sneasler, see what's across. Uh, is there anything this side? Okay. Oh, okay, this guy is there. Uh, let's throw out the Lilligant and uh, get that done. Right, let's also check uh, what we mocked previously. We don't need that pin anymore because we already got the uh, satchel. So let's go and talk to her and let's see what this uh, Hisuian Breviary is all about. Ruben, okay, what's up? You made it all the way up here in this cold. Mm -hmm. But the question is, did you catch me or did I let myself get caught? Hmm. Clairvoyant. Hmm. You might be. I mean, why not? Anyway, the challenge continues. The next stop of our merry chase is Snowpoint Temple. The real question is, am I really having fun playing with you or am I bored? Hmm. She likes to ask these rhetorical questions, which I don't mind answering though, but it's rhetorical, I'm pretty sure. They should totally show that cutscene. Alright, so we gotta go to the next uh, stop, which before we do... Uh, let's just check where we are. So the next stop is here. Oh, that's uh, that's pretty far, huh? So we'll make a pit stop at the satchel, I guess, in that case. Um, make a pit stop there. There's this sign here so we don't die.
Do we need to catch that, uh, that dust clops? I think we need to, right? No, let's not bother with these uh, dust clops. We don't need to catch them. We are pretty close to the satchel. Electabuzz, don't bother me. Uh, okay. Where is it? Oh, there it is. A bunch of uh, fighting Pokemon here. Nothing really out of the ordinary. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Why did I even opt for that, thinking I could? Ooh, that's a very scary looking ditch. I wonder what's down there. Huh. Rena's approach, huh? That is a scary looking ditch. Anyway, so we don't need this bugwort. That's like a cat Pokemon. Oh yeah, yeah, we got that one before. More of those here. Poor ugly, right? I think it's poor ugly. Stantlers. Nothing out of the usual. Uh, that is a... That is a... Uh, Sneasler. Right? It is what it is, right? Right. Um, would I even be able to... Oh, it turns pretty fast. Turn around. Woo! Oh, we actually got it. Wow. Sneasler. Uh, that's not bad, huh? Not bad, I suppose. Wait, there are more of them here. They're pretty much everywhere here, huh? Right, anyway. Uh, let's go for that. Not dust than a snowball. Right, let's see where we are. Pretty close to something here. New request. Well, let's see what it is. Since you're not too far from it. What is that? I had an option to talk to something there. Um let's see. Wait, what are these again? Pod oh pop pods, right, okay, okay. Okay, I'm gonna set up another base camp, but I don't spy. Okay, that's good. So we may be able to get a base camp somewhere around here. Find Craig. Sure. So how do I find Craig? Like... Is he even remotely near? There? Is he there? Like that thing? Uh, okay, do that. Oh, we can totally break that. Oh, we can totally break that. I thought it wouldn't be able to do that. I just tried my luck. But we can totally break that, huh? Bunch of stuff in here. Let's pick this up. Alright, uh, good find, I suppose. Right, so now that we got that... How do we find this crate guy? Huh. Lake... Acuity? Wait, what? Are you telling me that I can go through this? Oh no, I can't. Okay. I thought I could actually go through that. 
That would have been pretty cool, huh? I think I can go around this and there's a lake up there. What is that? I heard something. I still hear it. Oh, it's these things. Uh, Chimicho or something, right? Chingling, Chimicho. I think that's an alpha Chimicho. Uh, I guess. It's an alpha Chimicho. Wow. Wow, that was a pretty good throw. I guess. I didn't catch it though, but it's a pretty good throw. Right, there's some water here. Let's just uh, see what's down there. Basculin. I think there's a bunch of basculins in here. Seems like it. Anything around this? Right, nothing else. Ooh, wow. There's a lot of uh, breviaries here. They're all Hisuian breviary to be specific. They are all here. Uh, let's go to the other mount. Bunch of uh, cadabras. over here oh bad move let's do that wasted a master ball i'm sure that hurt your soul got the satchel that's next to the temple location here there she is uh let's just go past that first so i can throw that there throw that there there you go raspberry let's get Right, now uh, let's craft some more stuff first. Uh, 10, sure. One more, sure. Uh, we don't need Pokeballs for now. We have one caster friend, so we'll do that. Let's craft as many max potions as we can, which is just one. Pep up plant, so just one. And one. Uh, let's see, how many slots do we have? We do have some slots. That's good. Litigant. Dusk stone. That's a good find, huh? All right. Let's see what's going. What's gonna happen? Hi again. Okay. Nice having someone new out here to play with, safety in numbers or something like that. Okay, anyway, here's Snowpoint Temple. I've opened the front door for you, just a little more chasing left for you to do. The real question here is, am I really... Okay, fine. Yeah, I'm, I'm done with this. Just go. I heard what Warden Sabi said. If you have her approval to enter, by, means all, uh, by all means do so. But be warned, those who cannot solve the temple's puzzles won't get very far within... Ooh, a puzzle. Pay attention uh, to which way the stone statues are looking, okay? Patterns to the chest too. Okay, it's a lot of clues. Um, so we'll see what's so great about this. Snowpoint Temple. Okay. So there are statues there indeed. They do seem to be having certain things on on their bodies as well. There's a bunch of bronze zongs here, so. I want to be able to get rid of those before we continue this fight. Let's use uh, Lilligant. Or should we actually try to just YOLO these, right? Oh, well. Uh, you know what? It's just one bronze on. It's all I can see here. Have we actually caught it? No kidding, man. Another one there. A little far, but it's there. Uh, 
You know what, we'll fight this guy. Ooh, so ominous. But regardless, we always get the first move because we're so fast. Uh, let you heal us up. Oh yeah. Oh crap, I keep forgetting his psychic typing. We should have gone for the uh, victory dance or whatever. Uh, and then probably try to fight it. Uh, let's do our Saluna since it's uh, low level. Uh, we can do a headlong rush here. Uh, let's see, do we have the revive, Lilligant? Let's do a hyper potion. Alright, so let's see. So what's what's all this about? Okay, faint traces on this statue's chest. Okay. Steel pattern. Oh, right, I see. So, do I do that? Huh. I don't know if that means anything. Ice pattern. Okay. Rock pattern. So what's the point? What does it want me to do? Rock pattern, ice pattern. Seems to be the same. Uh, do I throw rock? Rock pattern on this one. Oh wow. We ran around across it. And this one had ice pattern, right? Okay. Uh didn't seem to do anything there. There's a thingy here. Okay, what's this? Ooh, wow. That's a uh, mana fee, right? And that's... That's... Um, what's that? Uh, Steel Fire Legendary? Uh, but anyway... Those... Th that's Palkia. Right? So these are like the legendaries. Huh. That's interesting. It has etches of a, uh, a legendary, huh? So what's this thing? What do you do? Do you do anything? Steel pattern. I don't think we have anything that's made of steel that we can throw. Uh, but we do have a steel Pokemon. Ice pattern, okay. Oh, oh, it's here, right? Maybe it's in the middle. Uh, right, maybe I do it here. And then here is like steel. Here is like uh, something else. I don't know what's here. What's this? Steel pattern, okay. Ice pattern. Rock pattern. So it's Reggie Rock, Reggie Ice, and Reggie Steel. As far as I know, that's the only three trio that uh, people will concern themselves with. But, okay, so then what do we do with that knowledge? What is this, Reggie Gigas or something? Not sure. Anyway, let's just go around it. That one goes down. This one goes up. 
Um, okay. We can't use our mountain here. Uh, okay, hang on. Those rocks look a little bit awkward. Let me uh, save the game here in case we're gonna die. Okay, it doesn't kill me. Oh, right, so these guys are here again. Okay. Rock. Steel. Ice, okay. Right. Uh, does it matter? Oh, uh, okay, so there's a sequence to them. Do I follow the sequence that's on the door? Ice, rock, steel? Oh really? Uh how about ice steel rock? Nothing's happening again. Hmm. Okay, it doesn't quite make sense. If none of those work, this is ice. This is steel, that's rock. So it has to be ice, rock, and steel, right? Ice, rock, steel. Doesn't seem like anything's happening. Really? But why? Uh, steel, ice, rock. Uh, that has to be one of the combinations, right? Steel, rock, ice. Uh. Okay, if it's not if it's not gonna be steel, uh, then it has to be ice, steel, rock. Okay, it's not ice, steel, rock. And it's not ice, rock, steel. So it has to be rock, steel, ice. Oh, uh, okay, I see. Right, okay, okay. So it's following these sequences. Ah, uh, okay, okay. I kept thinking of the ones downstairs, but it's the sequence up here. Right, okay. Mm. Uh, so it's nothing to do with the ones downstairs. It's everything to do with the ones that are here. So this is uh, ice. Uh, unknown. And steel. And ice. I 
something here. Rock. So eyes, rock, steel. Ice rock. Okay, uh, these are ice and rock, right? Yeah, ice rock. Okay. So it's ice rock. Steel. Oh, it's facing this guy. Okay. Ice rock, steel, rock, ice. Yes. Now I get it. I get it. It's the, it's the way it's facing each other. Right, right, right. So ice, rock, steel, rock, ice. There we go. Yeah, all right. It's pretty straightforward. Once you know the way it works. Uh, let's see. What's next? Okay, so there's one more thingy there. So we just gotta remember the way they actually face each other. Because that's what's important. So this guy's facing there. This guy's facing this guy. There's one guy facing there. Is there any other guys here? No other. So it's steel. Ice. Rock, ice, steel ice, rock ice, steel, rock. Alright, so it's um, steel, ice, rock, ice, steel, rock. There we go. Oh yeah. That's how you do it. There's also a path that led downstairs which we didn't uh, investigate previously. Hmm. Anyway, it says make your way to the top floor so we will do that first. I'm not sure how the, uh, the other path, like what difference the other path makes for us. That's a galleed, right? That is not a good thing. Oh crap, it actually hit me. Oh, oh, that's bad. Okay, you know what? We'll fight you. I think Gallet is fighting type, which is not very good against. I mean, yeah, just not very good matchup for us, but. Well, we had Caesar out, so let's go for it. Uh, it's either Iron Head or X Scissor. Mm. Iron Head is no second effect. We'll do the regular X Scissor, see if we get a crit. That close combat will take us out. Psychic. Does it have psychic typing? I think it still has psychic typing. Um, but we want to try if we can get a leaf. I mean, sleep powder. See if that helps. This so just goes for psychic. And that's kind of hopeless. Let's do an agile style sleep powder. Okay, it is drowsy. 
Two draws to move. That's great news for us. Um, we'll take the opportunity to do a victory dance just because it's um, defensive stats will increase and you can tank a hit from Gallade. Oh wow, we survived that thanks to the victory dance for sure, for sure. Um, you do want rain punch, agile style. Perfect. We get a bit of heal. We get a just good amount of damage. We should be in range of a catch. There we go. Gallade is another really, really good Pokemon. Uh, not sure if it'll fit in our team, but it's a pretty good Pokemon. It's gonna take out our Lilligant here, but uh, I think we're pretty close to catching it. It is not only asleep, but also uh, very, very low. We just need to tank it long enough uh, to be able to catch it. Um, no, let's not use Kudra. Let's use a Sylveon, actually. Probably the best tank in the situation. Considering that uh, its attacks are mostly... It, it has close combat, it's just very physical, right? Yeah. Wow, okay. We have not been able to catch this guy. Is level 70 beyond us catching it? I don't think so, right? Hmm. But we have been losing our entire team trying to catch this guy. I'm not sure whether we should. Or we should just knock it out and uh, get the balance XP on whatever Pokemon's left. Because it's done a lot of damage to us. Wow. It is really hard to catch. And uh, it's not uh, sleepy, not drowsy anymore either. Close combat, not good for us. Down to two Pokemon, let's send out Ursaluna, which will not survive close combat. But, uh. Hmm. Is there even a point in me just trying to catch this thing? Maybe I'm not allowed to catch it. Because it's like above a certain level or something? Or is the chance just so low? Hmm. It's gonna take out Ursaluna here, which means when it goes to Gudra, we have to we have to kill it. Because uh, if it does another close combat, it'll take out my uh, Gudra. So we have no choice but to uh, kill it here. Oh well. bit unfortunate, just the way it is, I guess. Uh, let's see. Let's get all these lost and found items. Let's save this. Sure. We actually need to revive the entire team because uh, that thing was pretty strong. We managed to catch a level 69 Gudra and Electivire. I'm really not sure why we couldn't catch that guy. I think it's just the chance of catching it was just super low or something. Uh, but anyway, we have an opportunity to spend quite a bit of Hyper Potions here, so let's do that. Let's use the EXP candy until Lilligant here. Uh, Grit Gravel. Hmm, actually Scizor doesn't really fit in this team. Eh? Not a not a very good uh, alternative to what we had before. Uh, 
Oh, it saw me? Wow. Okay. What now? Is this it? Now it looks like it. Alright, see what's up. Hey. Howdy. I guess I've been caught, so we're nearly done. This no fun. Hey, remember my cloud warrants? You showed me something else. I saw you flying with Braviary. Do you think that'll come to pass? I'll make sure it does. Well, however the future turns out, flying with Braviary isn't easy. If you really want to be able to fly high in the sky, prove to me you're strong enough. She's gonna fight me now? Gonna take us on? Yep. Rhyperior, Magmotar, and Electivire. Wow. All three? Holy crap. One versus three. How is that even remotely fair? Alright, now what? Magmatar is going to roast me. Yep. As expected. High horsepower. Holy crap. <sighs> At least you know what the three of them are capable of. But how do we stop them? Rhyperior is pretty close to being downed. Um, but with Electrovire and Magmatar. Send out Lilligant and see if we stand a chance here. If only we had an Agile style with the Victory Dance, this might be a little bit different. I'm not sure if, uh, if an Agile style, I mean, a Victory Dance here is even going to be useful. Because Magmatar and Electivire are still dangerous against this. Uh, the best Pokemon to fight all three here would be Ursa Luna. So what we'll do is we'll just take the Rhyperior kill. Yeah, we'll just take the Rhyperior kill. There we go. Alright, now... We can take Electivire. It's just Magmatar that uh, will do a lot of damage to us. Right, we actually survived that, so we have no reason to die here. Right? Let's send out Ursa Luna. Now. Just do a headlong rush here. Get rid of that uh, Magmatar, and then I think uh, Electivire should be pretty straightforward because he can't really do anything against me, right? Yeah, it just can't do anything against me. Another headlong rush, easy fight. There we go. There we go. We got the level up as well, thanks to keeping it alive. Uh, we did lose Caesar in that fight, though. Prove your strength to Braviary, really? How would we do that exactly? Speed run. Oh, there it is. Let's have a look at our surroundings. Seems to be nothing else here. Sabi, okay. Oh, it's gonna fight me just like the uh, wire deer and whatever. It's a mount fight. I think it should be pretty straightforward. So, 
I'm pretty sure we don't have anything that's good against this guy. Uh, we're just gonna have to switch. Walvine. I think Walvine is the best switch here. Let's do that. Oh, and it's Frostbite. Nice. Okay, what does it do? Brave Bird. Wow, it looks pretty cool though. And it killed itself. Not very smart, I suppose. Hey. Hey. Right. So I'm going to do the same thing. So I call all my mounts. When I do this, all the mounts show up right behind me. Alright. It is flying mount time. It's going to be so cool. Thanks, Sabi. Oh, you said that? Sure, having Ruben fly around with should be fun for Braviary. Yeah, I'm glad. A worldwide people and Pokemon live together and work together, huh? Hmm. Tell me, what do you think the lightning that comes from the rift would cause these frenzies? Do you think this is Almighty Sinnoh's anger, or do you think this is a trial it's putting against? If it's a trial, if we prove ourselves worthy and we call the last noble calm Avalug, then the rift really ought to close, right? Even if the one who seems to be clearing this trial is a newcomer like you, none of us would have been he living here in history for ages now. How come you're playing all wise? I thought you weren't a big thinker, Adamant. Hush, Sabi, I can feel history on the move. And as far as I can see, the one ushering in this new era is you. So if I stick with you someday, I might get to meet Almighty Sinnoh myself. Hmm. Question is, does listening to Adam and fascinate you or bore you to tears? Hmm. Anyway, Ruben, it's time for you to go soar with Braviary. If you jump from away up here, Braviary can take you gliding just about anywhere. Really? How do I jump? Anyway. Oh, ever looks there. I see. Wow, that looks cool. So, if I am, uh, wait, can I talk to her? I right, say, so if I'm falling, whoa. Oh, that is super cool. Uh, we're gonna head towards this mid objective first. Wow. So what does X do? X beats me up, and Z dives us. Right. So we can go pretty high, but we'd rather stay low. Wait, hang on. We just wanna dive here because there's like an objective somewhere here. Where is it? Oh yeah, I'm supposed to find that guy who's missing or lost or whatever. Anyway, let me just go this way towards this village thing. Hello. Hey there. Can I can I talk to you? Ah, oh, there we go. Couldn't get the dialogue option. Uh, Bergmite, uh, of course. Uh, what? I can't allow them as you do. Okay, so what do you want? You want a completed Pokedex entry for Bergmite? Okay, uh, sure, why not? What? There was no wild Pokemon there? Interesting.
Hey, hello. Uh huh. Is that so? What's inside here? Oh, there's actually a guy here. Wow. Really wish there was something these people told me. But that's okay. So now that I have this mount, would I need to use the other mounts? Perhaps, right? Okay, hang on. So I, so I just reached this just to pick up that uh, single objective. Is there anything else here? Well, I guess there's nothing else here really. So let's just go towards uh, Avalug and uh, we'll just do that. Wait, how do we go h up higher? Can I do... No, I can't. This one doesn't go up. Uh, does this go up? No, this does not. What about ascend? No. No, that dives us. Okay, how do I ascend? Uh. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh... Hey, calm down, buddy. Yeah, there we go. Ah, oh, crap. I'm sure that's not going to work, but whatever. So do we need to go like a higher spot just so that we can... Um, Reach this? I guess maybe. Oh, that's a that's an unknown here. Sneezler. Okay, let's go up. There we go. Or we can just uh, catch you. There we go. Oh no! I wanted to. Never mind. Wait, what? Sneezler can't do that? Really? Oh, so we we have to land here uh, in order to be able to... Oh, no! Oh, that's bad. Oh, that takes me too low. So now that I'm here, I can't really ascend, can I? Hmm. Unless there's another uh, control here and I'm forgetting it. So that picks me up straight away. Uh, I'm sure if I land there, I can uh, remount myself into Breviary. There we go. Now we should be high enough. Ouch. Should have landed probably. Investigate. Okay. A piece of it. Eternal ice, okay. This guy doing squats. Meet him at the Ice Peak Arena, huh? Okay. Huh. 
No, I'm so shocked by what he said. Uh, okay, so I gotta make my way to Ice Peak Arena, which is not too far away. We'll do that. Here we go. Do we ascend if we look upwards? Yes, we don't. Huh. Ouch. Why can't I descend safely? That doesn't make sense. Hey, it's a uh, Volo. Uh, absolutely. And he, he can cause sharp ice crystals to erupt from the ground below you. Oh, that sounds a little, a little bit scary, no doubt. But that guy, shirtless guy in this uh, frozen climate, is, looks absolutely brutal. Makes reasons why he has to do uh, squats all the time. Because uh, it just took a massive toll on, the, on your body. Uh, being in such cold climate and all. Right, let's get this over with. So I need to dodge this really well, huh? It's great. Just the thing that I'm not really good at. Dark Souls gaming. Ah. Uh. Whoa. Holy crap, is it that huge? Oh god, it's huge. Oh my, it is as big as they say. Well, that means I, I won't really miss, would I? Would I? Uh, oh no, I couldn't dodge that. Man, that's bad. Oh no, this is really bad. I need to dodge it like perfectly in the middle of when he does that uh, ability. Oh. Okay. Whoa! That's terrifying. Okay. Oh, I actually managed to um, do that. Let's send in... What? Oh, really? Oh no, I, I missed my chance, did I? Oh, there we go. Now I can see that a little bit better from here. Ah, so that's how you do it.
I have no idea why I couldn't send the uh, Pokemon out to do battle. That one's really, really weird. Uh, but never mind. We'll just continue from where we left off, and then we'll see if uh, we can, you know, we'll be able to send out the Pokemon that we're supposed to. Uh, keep the progress. Sure, we'll do that. There we go. Oh crap, couldn't do that properly this time. There we go. And there we go. Oh man, stayed in the way of that. Should have, uh... oh no, that's bad. Oh, there we go. Finally got the battle throw in. Right, so Iron Head should be good against here. Sure, we'll do Iron Head. Okay, now it's gonna get his chance to do Earth Power, which we can definitely handle. And we'll just do a regular Iron Head. Take it out. All right, I think we got the hang of that. Okay. Uh, we couldn't dodge the last one, but uh, we managed to dodge the rest of it, which is good. Oh no, no, no. Should have dodged that for sure. Ah, oh, oh, that one took us out. Once we go down from that, we can't really recover from it. Like, it doesn't allow us to get up, so that one's a little bit tricky. Uh, but it's alright, we'll, we'll manage through that. We're getting better as we... Uh, Try this again and again, so let's just keep the previous progress and let's just go on. Right, here we go. Come on. Almost there. Almost got this Pokemon down. Let's just do it. Oh no. Uh, that was bad. Here we go. Trying to do too many things at once, I should just dodge it first. Oh, walking into it actually hurts me. Okay. Oh. Unrivaled dodge for that, huh? Alright, we managed to somehow survive that. Uh, yeah. Oh no, we walked into that ice. We should've just stayed in the middle. We almost got the option to send in a Pokemon as well to do battle, so it's super close. Come on, uh, let's get this over with. We can do this. Sure, third try, third tries to charm, I guess. Uh, all right, let's go. So this this last bit that we just keep uh, slipping on. So let's just do it properly this time. Alright, we got that out of the way, one more. Oh, okay.
Uh, okay. You got hit twice there. Oh, but, but when we fall down there, it allows us to tank it a little bit. Okay, now we just gotta make sure we dodge this thing properly. Alright, we managed to dodge that. Alright, let's do this. Okay, there we go. Hopefully this is the last uh, part of the fight. Water pulse, sure. There we go, one shot. Alright, did we get it? Yes, finally. Take what you like in your face. Oh, that is a massive Pokemon. They were not kidding when they said it's the biggest. Huge. Holy crap. It looks pretty good too. Okay. I was like, whoa. Oh, it gave the icicle plate. No wonder they had that little weird freeze frame there. Maybe I am a monster. Remember that meme, guys? Worship to Almighty Sinnoh, yeah, sure. I mean, I, I suppose. A little emotional, but I guess we managed to actually quell all the uh, lords sometime. I wonder what's going to happen now. Ah, that's a nice thing to say. Alright, uh, gotta go and report to Commander uh, Commander Kamado. Uh, let's see what else is left here. So it looks like we're pretty much done with this area. Uh, so that is super cool. Uh, but before we leave, I want to see what's here. Because it said something about a hot spring. Snowfall hot spring? Really? This way? What are those? Gligers? Okay. I can't go any further. I want to go to the hot spring. How do I do that? Do I have to go underneath this thing or something? Oh wait, there it is, right? It has to be the, uh, the hot spring. What's there? Some uh, licky tongues and stuff like that. Mm. Nothing out of the ordinary here. Arena's approach, pull, settlement. Uh, let's go towards this arena's approach. Have a looks legacy. Let's go this way. Is there a cave here? What is that? Bomb of snow. Snow. 
So this cave we actually did uh, pay a visit to, didn't we? Did we not? Can we fly through this with the cave through the cave? Oh holy crap. That's hilarious. Okay. Um Sure, I suppose. Let's pick that up. Right, doesn't seem like there's much else here at the moment. Uh, let's just go back to the snowfields camp and then we'll go and report this to the commander and we'll see how that goes. Okay. Oh, we are still far from reaching the uh, next star. That is tough. Uh, okay, uh, let's just avoid this lag by teleporting ourselves to the galaxy hall. Uh, let's just go straight for the commander. We don't need to waste our time down here. Alright. Each of the Pokemon nobles became frenzied and now each of them has been quelled. We still have no explanation for why this calamity befell us, but I'm glad to see it put to an end. And to think peace would be restored to Hisui by the hand of our mysterious Rift-born helper. When tomorrow dawns, it will dawn a world restored to normalcy. At long last, we'll be able to return to our normal lives. Go nourish yourselves at the Wallflower and allow yourself a good long rest. Don't forget the Savvy Corps' work is not over. It does not end until our people can live here in Hisui without fearing the Pokemon around us. Slumbling Lord of the Tundra is completed. Great. Potato mochi time? I guess. Yeah, there we go. As expected. Huh. Will my Isekai ever end? It's a real question. What did Akari ever do actually in this game? Like I haven't seen her in action. I wish they actually gave her like, you know, a story. Besides us just being the MC and doing everything by ourselves. Seems a little OP. I guess in the dual battles or triple battles they should allow like, perhaps Akari to be the second battler. Like, even if we can't 2v2 other Pokemon, at least Akari would be able to join us. And what the hell was that? What the hell was that sound? Disaster looming. Guiding now active. Uh, okay. Whoa. Okay. Oh no, that, that looks terrifying, to be honest. Some sort of dreadful energy seems to be pouring from the rift in space-time. Now the entire sky has gone red. 
A word from the commander, okay. You have to report to his office at once. Sure, why not? Very ominous indeed, of course. Who or what are you really? It's a good question. I don't really know. Are they gonna quell me? By, by throwing potato mochis at my face? So they're gonna exile me. Really? Yeah. Oh god, do I have to walk this exile? Oh god, this is painful. What if I keep walking away? Oh, uh, it's just gonna repeat that. Can I at least say bye bye to my house? This is a really dark moment. This is like. Not the emotional experience I expected from this game, but wow. Now it's actually doing something story-wise. Okay, the guy just meditates and we go to the fieldlands camp. Wow. Thanks for that, like, emotional roller coaster Pokemon, but what does this mean now? Adam and Irida, huh? Leon in the Grand Tree Arena. Huh. Complete the Pokedex. Seek out Leon. So I can still switch my Pokemon. And I can still access my uh, item storage. Just that uh, that's about it that I can do, I guess. Okay, what else do you have here that's uh, worth my time? You have these uh, XP candies. Let's take those. Do you have anything else that's cool? 
Nope, nothing else. Okay, what do I have? I have a dust stone. Let's store that. Uh, I'm gonna store my sunstone as well, because we have decided not to use the uh, Togekiss. Let's store all of the stardust. Yeah, all right. Let's do that. Let's also talk to this guy and. Uh, Switch out the scissor who has not been very useful. Uh, and let's switch it out with... Should I actually take my Infernape with me? It's only psychic Pokemon that are a bit of a threat now. Huh. Uh... Steel types are also a bit of a threat. Because if Lilligan's down, then I'll have that uh, difficulty of facing them. But fighting type is still the strongest right now. Sylveon is the only one that can handle the fighting type. You know what, we'll keep um, Electivire with this. I think it's still a usable Pokemon. Uh, and looks like we have no choice but to travel all the way to the Grand Tree Arena. Uh, actually, we can just do that. <laughs> we can instant travel there. So we'll do that and see how that ha what happens now. Fans in panic now. Okay. I need help. Uh, I gotta, I gotta bring more bad news. My at the worn bridge. Okay. All right. So we're gonna have to uh, call this an episode. It's been a good one. Uh, this is really amazing. What's gonna happen is really. Uh, it's keeping me on my toes, I have to be honest, uh, and I'm really excited to see what happens next. It's been a blast. See you guys in the next one. Take care, guys. Also, not being able to see this card of mine is pretty creepy. Huh. <laughs>